So who, where did you get your first haircut at? Uh, my first haircut was uh, in my hometown. Um, it's a barber shop. Well, it's two barber shops in my hometown. The first one is uh, Damon and Sweeties, and the second one is uh, Johnson. Um, my family, they a big part of like going to get a haircut at Johnson. So um, that's what me and my cousin, we got our first haircut at. Um, you know, they always say the kids, the boys always gonna cry when they get their first haircut. So when did you first start noticing the difference between like barbers, how they cut? You know, some barbers get that old school cut. Some barbers like me, I'm giving a new school cut compared to some of the guys that brought me into the game. Kind of when my mama started taking me in the barbershop. Like my mom had to sit in with me in the barbershop. Then I knew I was at like an old school barbershop. She was gonna sit him cut out how you think, or give him a bald head or something like that. I see old school guys come in and they don't even want to see the mirror. Forget the mirror, Right. I just need this thing cut. Right. But for the younger guys, it's like, hey, I need to, when I step out, I need them to know like, I'm here. And I think that's the difference between the, you know, the two. Me speaking as far as like the new school, even though I've been in the industry for a good amount of years now, but I see it like the younger guy, like, ah, we want to come over here because he ain't about that. You know what I'm saying? Just give us anything. Whatever picture I show him, he gonna make it look like that picture. Right. Versus the old school's like, oh, you wanted that limp? And then it's two limps under that, which ain't nothing wrong with, right. but it, the old school cut to make it last a long time. Right. I'm gonna ask it like this, as far as the community-wise, do you think that builds the community having different gen genres of, not genres, <laughs> excuse me, I'm okay, right? I'm feeling a little, <laughs> like right. they're making a little bit, but now uh, different generations of people. You right. know, you got the, the young guys, you got the old guys, you got the middle age, you got the kids. Do you think that helps build the community as far as is that needed for the community? I think when you go in a barbershop, having like those different aspects of people is very needed because for example, like a younger person or a young, like somebody from the younger generation can bring something to the table or spike up a topic where they may need like somebody from the older generation to kind of help them out or give them advice on. Right. So I think it's like you're able to see different aspects if mm -hmm. like you have those. And then too, um, I coach, so like one of my uh, athletes, he came in and was like, hey, my barber, look out for me. My barber helps the community. Like, mm -hmm. And I love going there. So like having that opportunity to hear somebody say, oh, I like going to the barbershop. It's really good because like you know now somebody from like the older generation is helping somebody from like the younger generation. So with all the experiences of going to the barbershop, is there any valuable lessons that you learn? Maybe like some success tips that you have learned over the years with all your experience of going? Yeah, I definitely say um, it's been like three key like tools that I remember that my barber always told me. Um, the first one was to love yourself, love who you are. Never let nobody like tell you that you're nobody. Um, always remember that you are somebody in like society and you have something to bring to the table. Another one was just like being honest. Being honest with people around you, being honest with just anything you do. And then the last one is uh, treat people with respect, do unto others as you would want them to do unto you. Because that's very important and we want people to value who we are so we have to make sure that we also take care of the people around us but take care of people that we honestly don't even know as well. Absolutely.